Hello, my Geminis. Welcome to my channel. If you haven't been here before, um, I keep it real weird around here. I'm not your traditional reader. Um, I'm an art reader. I'm not going to give you keywords. I'm not going to tell you the Eight of Wands is about communication. I use different decks so I can get uh, different stories for you guys. I also just kind of read on what I'm called to read. And today I got called to do warning messages for you guys. Um, I'm hardcore at energy channeling and the energy that I've been picking up on just as a collective lately is like a nine of swords type anxiety energy that I don't like, all right? It's a sense of impending doom, like something's coming back to, you know, mess with your stability or there's a, a rabbit that's about to get pulled out of the hat, like something crazy is about to happen, I'm feeling. So I'm gonna pull warning messages to see if we can get some advice about what's going on for you guys. Uh, I'm using the Hoodoo Tarot root working deck to pull from Southern Ancestors and I'm using my Italian Ancestors deck, the Botticelli Tarot, okay? So we're doing the Southern Strega, <laughs> Italian Witch. All right, here's what we got for you guys, Geminis. We got the um, Knight of Cups on the bottom of your reading. Heart of the Matter, we have the Four of Swords. We have the Ace of Swords crossing you. We have the Ace of Pentacles in reverse. I just started reading reversals for air signs and for Scorpio. Scorpio is the one who made me do it, all right? <laughs> and But it's been working, so I'm gonna keep it up for you guys. You have Aunt Caroline. You've got the Wheel of Fortune on your mind here. Near future, you have the Three of Swords in reverse. You have the Ten of Swords in your subconscious. What's in your control right now? You've got the Magician in reverse, Black Herman. You have Dr. Buzzard. You have Justice in reverse for outside energies. Lots of Major Arcana popping out, Gemini. More Major Arcana, the Star card in your hopes and fears. And you've got the Four of Wands as your outcome. All right, I love that, okay? But you are going through it right now, Gems. There's a need for a reunion with somebody or with something. There's a need to revisit something. You have no idea how to approach this subject. This is a very similar energy to the Aquarius reading. Um, if you are dealing with an Aquarius, please check that out, okay? In the past, I see something that threw your stability off in a big way with this Ace of Pentacles energy. Right now, you're just kind of laying in wait, like in this energy of like, where do I go from here? You're kind of like daydreaming about it. You're not really dealing with it. You're putting it off. You do realize that um, with this Aunt Caroline card here, this is the Wheel of Fortune. You do realize that um, there's no getting off this bus is kind of what I'm getting. Like it's going to happen no matter what. Uh, you know, in the back of your mind that something is over, that something is done. There is a, because I'm an art reader, the message that I'm getting for you guys, this warning message here. Um, there is a big heartbreaking lesson that needs to be learned from this situation. And I see you learning it. I love that. All right. You're at the point right now with this four of knives energy, four of swords energy, where you're processing what happened. The problem is, is like you're failing to see where you go now. All right. I feel like you're getting to that acceptance phase. Because the truth is what's crossing you. The clarity is what's crossing you. You've reached clarity that something is now over, all right, with this Ten of Swords energy. The problem is, is you're, you're, you don't know where to go from here. You can't manifest right now. You're act, you, you feel like there's like, um, there's no good option going forward with this. There's also a little bit of energy of not wanting to let it go all the way. You're still dwelling on it. You're still trying to figure out if there's a way to salvage whatever this is. I think you've already come to the conclusion there's no salvaging this though. The Knight of Cups energy, like it's time to like, you know, pack it up and, and go in another direction with your basket here. Yeah, the garden, the world is at the end of this. This is the end of a very tough cycle for you guys. Um, it's and it feels unfair. Um, you've got justice in the reverse in the outside energy. I don't feel like this was a situation of your making or your choosing. I feel like you were put into the middle of something 
or forced to move in a direction that you did not want to move. And it feels very unfair, like very, very unfair. And not only did it throw off your stability, it also, you know, broke your heart because I do see you coming out of this energy of, you know, coming out of this heartbreak with the three of swords in reverse. The messed up thing, like I use this deck for reasons, all right? This three of swords, I'm not just going to bitty tarot this and say you've got a broken heart. This is um, much deeper than a broken heart on this card. This tree right here is laced with these bottles. These bottles are, it's a hoodoo tradition. You'll tie them in the trees to, you know, catch bad spirits and keep you protected. This person was sitting under a tree that was supposed to protect them and they still got the three swords to the heart. And then somebody's pouring salt in the wound on this. You see this dog right here? That's a dog legit like pissing on somebody's grave, all right? Not only is this done, but it's like, um, it's been done in a disrespectful way. And it's extra hurtful because it's coming from a person that, you know, has provided you comfort and protection or you, you felt safe in the situation or with this person, which is why you're having a very hard time realizing that, you know, this is done with this 10 of knives here. It's like you're not wanting to all the way let it go. I think you're reaching some clarity that you do need to let it go. You're realizing there's nothing you can do to stop this with the Wheel of Fortune on your mind. Here's the deal, though, all right? Um, Aunt Caroline here, the Wheel of Fortune, she was a tarot reader. She was a cardomancer. She threw cards like I do. Um, she turned, like, you know, nothing into something. As a child, she was, like, sold into slavery. And she ended up coming up building her own empire. Like, she took the worst situation possible, which is where I feel like you're at now. Like, a rock bottom type situation is what I'm getting here. And she basically took lemons and made lemonade ten times over. Not only did she start reading cards, but she, like, started cooking meals for all the people that were waiting for her card readings. And people would come from out of town to see her. You know, she started um, branching out and doing new things and finding new avenues new channels of revenue, new ways to, you know, go about thinking and doing her business. This is the kind of energy you need to get in. Is think you, There is a way out of this. There is a new way. You're not manifesting anything new here. You're not um, coming up with any ideas. Like you're, you're blocked. You're stuck. You're in this energy right here. Because it does feel very unfair and it's hard to move forward from this. I see that. And your hopes and fears right here is doing the healing that it takes to get all the way past this. We've got this grandchildren card here. This is the star card. Um, the star is about healing. The star is about achieving your hopes and dreams, all that good stuff. But in this deck, um, they call it the grandchildren for a reason, okay? Um, when your kids have kids, uh, you have a second chance at parenting as a grandparent. And you're allowed to like then apply all of the things that you learned as a parent that you wish you would have known when you first had your children to your grandchildren to, you know, help level them up and make sure that they do better than you did. So in your hopes and fears is this energy of, um, you're not, you're, you're missing the value in this lesson is what I'm getting. Whatever this was that was put on your path to throw you off of your path right now and mess with your stability and break your heart and do all this horrible stuff that I see here, uh, it was meant to heal some kind of blockage or wound that was holding you back from learning some kind of lesson and then applying it to the next situation that you enter into with, you know, clearer mind, more uh, knowledge. You're wanting to see the benefit of it, but you also are scared to, all right? Because you're refusing to let it go all the way. Once you let it go, you have to deal with that pain. You have to do that healing. You have to, you know, confront the demon. I see you doing it though. You've got the four of wands coming in your, you know, final outcome, which is like the ultimate happy stability, feeling all warm and cozy because you're not feeling warm and cozy right now. You're shutting down. You've like shut down completely. It's like a paralyzed type energy that I'm getting here. Let me clarify this with the Italian, with the Botticelli Tarot. Why is this Four of Swords energy here? This was a big injustice though. With that three of, <clears throat> this particular Three of Swords and that Justice in Reverse, somebody did you real, real dirty or something. But some situation was very, very unfair. 
and very much out of your control with that Wheel of Fortune. You got the devil in reverse here. You're trying to think of how to detach yourself from this, but the you know you can't, all right? It's crossing you that you can't get the clarity you need on this to you know cut it out of your life and move past it. You're still very much chained to this energy at the heart of your matter. You know, you're contemplating on this devil energy. It's feeling like you can't escape this. It's all mental, though, with that four of swords. Like, that's a mental blockage. That's not an actual physical blockage. Um, why is this ace of coins here in the past? There's a, a desperate need to detach from this. That's your warning message. Like, you've got to cut this off, whatever this is. Do the healing, move past it. Take the L, learn the lesson. It's going to lead to stability. Like, that's like a, you know... They want you to know that going through this is only going to level you up is what I'm seeing. Yeah, you got the ace of huh, ace of cups in reverse. No, this is the magician. Magician in reverse again. It's magician in reverse two times here, Gemini. It's a huge failure to manifest and like apply all of the tools that you have learned throughout your life to like better yourself. You're not wanting to do it, all right? Because this whole thing felt such like such a betrayal that all you can do now is sit and stew in it. But there's nothing you could do about this, Gemini. It was a faded event with this Wheel of Fortune. It was meant to happen. To put you on the correct path that leads to this Four of Wands. That's the message you need to hear. Stop doubting why this happened. Uh, you got Wheel of Fortune. Let's clarify that. Death in reverse. Yeah, there is a rebirth that's coming for you. That is the message you need to hear. There is a rebirth coming, but you are blocking it. You're delaying it by refusing to let whatever this is die all the way. Cut it out of your life, all right? Cut it out. This is crossing you. You're not cutting it out. You got to cut it out. You, you know in your head that it's done. Why are you still holding on to it? Because it's going to hurt to process it, you know? But major, major arcana popping out for you guys. This is a huge lesson that is meant, it's like, I see it's like, I'm visualizing you guys are like so close to this finish line, all right? And this is a test that's been put on your path to see if you're going to fall back into your old ways and tolerate whatever this, you know, nonsense situation is, or if you're going to choose to cut it off, walk away, take the loss, break your own heart, heal it up, learn the lesson. You got strength. You're, you're finding the strength to do it. I cannot believe all these major arcanas, Gemini. This is a big, big, big lesson. You're having to force yourself to let this go and you don't like that, but you know, you're having to force yourself to do it because you know it's gonna be painful. But I see you doing that. That's why you're gonna end up with that four of wands. Keep going is your message. Keep going with whatever this is. You know it needs to end, end it. Ace of Swords is clarified by the Three of Cups in reverse. You're not happy about having to cut this out. You're not. It's something that you cared about a lot. It's something that used to bring you joy. It's something that you like to put your effort in. And, you know, it's something that you were proud of. And now you're having to cut it out. This could deal with, you know, like a job or you know, relationship, whatever. Whatever this negative attachment is, like, that you know is, like, run its course has to go. It used to bring you a lot of joy, but now it is not. Now it's like a devil that you're chained to. What is with this Ten of uh, Swords here? It's like super extra done, though. We got Death popping out and the Ten of Swords. <clears throat> Nine of Wands. It's so hard. Like, I feel like this is um a pride issue here. There's a peacock standing right here with this Nine of Wands. I didn't even realize that until I said it. Proud as a peacock. Like, there's some a pride issue with walking away from this. So I do feel like you put a lot of time and effort into whatever this was. And walking away and just saying, I give up, is like, it feels like you're losing. You know, it doesn't, it feels like you're just throwing in the towel and giving up. But that's your ego talking. Like, your subconscious has already told you that this is over. But your pride is keeping you from actually moving forward and ending it. Walking away completely. Why is the black, um, black Herman, the magician here, in reverse? Two magicians in reverse. I do not like seeing that in a reading. You're blocking your own blessings. Why is the magician in reverse here? Because it was such a shady thing that happened. You got the, you know, page of swords. 
you're still trying to figure it out. You're still trying to, you know, work your way out of this situation or salvage it somehow. You're still giving it your attention. You're still thinking that there's like some kind of, you know, other way, but there is not. Uh -huh. Justice in reverse. Why is that here? And you're also having a heart. You're just now starting to realize the truth about it, which is, you know, good. But you have to act on it. You know, the page you know, realizes that something needs to be said. You know, the knight actually goes and says it. Uh, or actually goes into the battle and fights it. The page realizes it needs to be fought. You're realizing that this needs to happen. Justice in reverse. Why is that here? You got the ace of cups in reverse. This was a utter heartbreak. All right. Whatever this was. I feel how hard it is to walk away from this. You don't understand how something you've put so much time and effort into and something that you thought was meant for you is not meant for you. But I'm here to tell you it is not meant for you. There's something better meant for you. It's coming. <laughs> Why is this grandchildren card here? Why is the star card here? You're afraid to go for something new. Like, I feel like you're doubting that there is something better because this felt like it. You know, this felt like the end all be all for you. Something that was, you know, going to be forever. But it's not. Something threw you a curveball with that Wheel of Fortune. But you got something better coming. You got the world in reverse. You do not want to end this cycle. I'm sitting here staring at the world card on the bottom of your other deck. The bottom of the matter is like you have got to end this. You're so afraid to end this. Why are you so afraid to let this go? You already know in the back of your head that it's done. I see it all over these cards. Why are you holding on to this? There is a rebirth that is wanting to be a happen for, you know, for you. Like, look at this. This looks like Jesus. Like, he's about to be resurrected here. It's like a resurrection that happens after you cut off whatever this is that's dragging you down. You got the four of wands. Why is the four of wands here? And I cannot stress enough the importance of the fact that half your reading is major arcana. Those are major, major lessons, you know? The minor are just trivial stuff. The major are, this is a major turning point for you. Five of Swords. You have got to, at all costs, go and cut off whatever this is. No matter how hurtful, no matter how much you don't want to. And I feel like you're fighting with yourself. You've got to fight yourself. If you want this, you've got to prove to the ancestors that you want it, okay? They have a blessing waiting for you. You've got to prove that you are worthy of it. Whatever this lesson is that you've got to learn by leaving this, you know, whatever this trash is behind that's run its course for you, that's not serving you anymore, that's keeping you that devil energy. When you let that go, I'm telling you, there is something planned for you, but you've got to prove that you want it. Five of Pentacles, you've got to get out of this. <sighs> All right, Geminis, that's what I got for you. Cut it out, whatever it is. There is something so much better coming for you. I promise you that. Don't let your pride get in the way here. Giving up is not like um, something to be ashamed of, all right? Knowing when to say when and like throwing the towel at the appropriate times, like that is, you know, that's adulting <laughs> at its finest. Trying to force a situation that is not meant for you is... It's never going to play out the right way. It's going to keep you in this failure to manifest mode. I see you're blocking your blessings twice. Magician in reverse two times. A new beginning, like, you know, <laughs> you're blocking it. Don't do that, gems. My son's a Gemini. I love you guys. All right, that's what I got for y'all. Have a good one. Please subscribe to my channel and hang out with me. I'm so bored. I just sit at home like by myself all the time with my two little kids, single mom style. <laughs> y'all are like some of the only communication I have with the real world. So love y'all Geminis. Have a good one.